And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Matt Holliner. 643 this morning, and each cold front is a little bit different. Some are stronger than others, and some have all the activity in the front side of them. Some have all the activity right along them, and some are kind of back heavy. This is one that's not very strong, and all the activity is ahead of it. So, yes, there's been some overnight showers in the valley, but notice how the rain is already moving offshore. Uh, and really, most of the rain is going to be falling in East Texas. Our rain chance almost over with for the day, because check out to the west of this. Uh, there's a lot of dry air, and that's going to allow our clouds to break up. In fact, much of the day is looking mostly sunny. At 8 a.m. this morning, I think there'll be some low-level clouds still, especially in Cameron and Williston County, and where the clouds have broken up in the upper valley, Valley replaced by some light fog. Uh, I don't think it's going to last long, though. This is a situation where the fog is probably going to be gone by 9:30 this morning, and by 11 a.m. we're probably looking at mostly sunny skies across the entire valley, and that's where we'll be staying uh, through the day. Now, technically, the front arrives this afternoon, but uh, there are probably a lot of people that won't notice it because it's going to be in the mid-afternoon where we're going to already be seeing our high temperatures for the day, mainly the upper 70s. I would not rule out some places hitting 80, 81, though. That is a possibility. Uh, what's going to happen is our winds are going to shift out of the southwest to the northwest, and drier air is going to come in. Uh, but already, the air mass is fairly dry. That's why we're already going to have mostly sunny skies this afternoon. Mostly clear skies tonight. Actually, temperatures tomorrow morning, because there's going to be a little bit of a breeze and the humidity not completely bottoming out yet. I think we're going to be in the low 50s to start. Maybe a couple degrees cooler this morning, but not much of a difference. I think it's more uh, Friday morning that's going to be our cold start to the day. Now, tomorrow afternoon is going to be cooler, but not dramatically cooler. A uh, day with very low humidity, low 70s, but probably the biggest difference today versus tomorrow is the winds are going to be much stronger tomorrow. This is another situation where the strongest winds are actually behind the front and not right along the front. Uh, so though we're going to start out mostly cloudy this morning with some light fog, it's just really during the early morning hours, and we're going to have mostly sunny skies this afternoon. It's going to be warmer than yesterday and a sunnier day. Highs in the upper 70s, not very windy today. Uh, sustained winds 5 to 10, maybe a gust up to 20, uh, but that's about it. Not really that breezy a day. There's going to be a little bit of wind tonight, though, uh, and with the humidity not completely dropping all the way, I think we'll cool down to around 53, so fairly pleasant night. Technically, 53 is a little bit above above normal for this time of year. A few clouds are possible during the evening hours, but clear skies late tonight. Now tomorrow, the combination of very low humidity and winds, it'll be gusting 30 to even 40 miles per hour, means that the fire threat is back. We're under a red flag watch. It's probably going to be upgraded to a red flag warning. You remember it from last week, and it's going to be back tomorrow. Uh, those little brush fires could start very easily and then spread easily, so don't burn anything outside tomorrow afternoon. Make sure those cigarettes go in the ashtrays, and don't even park your car in a grassy area. So how long will the cool down last? Probably not as long as some folks would like. A lot of sun Thursday and Friday. One day where it's going to be windy, so I don't see the fire threat nearly as high on Friday, despite the very low humidity we're still going to have. Now, Saturday and Sunday, that humidity is going to start coming back. Look how our temperatures go right back to the low 80s for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, mid to upper 70s. Looks mostly cloudy, but rain chances looking small. A 10% chance of rain Christmas Eve, 20% chance of Christmas Day. Of course, we'll keep you posted on that Christmas Day forecast right here on Channel 5.